All right. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this one. We're certainly well overdue, but I certainly hope that this release will be well worth the wait for you guys. Uh, this is the latest release of Manjaro, the Cup of Linux edition. And I have decided to uh, go with a the new um, numbering convention that uh, many free and open source projects are going with. So I decided to call this one version 1, 16.5, meaning the 16, you know, 2016. And the dot five, well, the dot five is a little preemptive because I was shooting for a May 1st release. And I got this out a few days ahead of time. So um, I'm j that's why I've got the one 16. Five. Uh, let's go ahead and log in. As you can see, this is the new login screen for mcol. I think this looks a lot nicer than what we had in the previous release. Once we are logged in, you'll see we've got a nice dark theme, and uh, this is great for those of you who spend as many hours in front of a computer as I do. You'll you'll thank your uh, you know thank your eyes for these dark themes because uh, they they you know they're better at reducing eye strain. And that sort of thing. So, um, I decided to go with a nice dark theme uh, on the panel uh, with um, symbolic icons. But you can change these icons on the uh, on the left side of the panel. This sort of acts like a dock. And uh, on the right side, you have um, your fusion icon, your notification area, and then um, you have some. Uh, you have the weather, and then you have a CPU thing. Uh, this one. Because uh, I couldn't store the theme in user space, and this actually this icon set actually resides in your uh, home directory, you manually change this by right-clicking, going into Properties, and uh, under Appearance here, choose the W Sky Light, and then that icon matches. And then, you know, the only colored icons you'll see are in the center here, where uh, any open applications will appear. You might want to change this from New York City to whatever part of the globe you're in so that you have the correct weather on that. And Lord knows you can add a bunch of other things here. Uh, Fusion Icon is available with this. I am not going to show Compiz and I'm not going to wobble the windows on this one. Obviously, uh, I did a 10-part video series on Compiz Reloaded. It is included with this. However, I did not include Emerald themes with this because there are so many window borders that ship with this and uh the window the gtk window dec decorator um works very well with them uh by default uh when you uh open up folders they have borders on them but if you're really feeling adventurous uh go into your settings here and then go into window manager You can scroll up here to Borderless, and my Borderless theme is in there. For those of you who are feeling really adventurous and you don't like window borders. <laughs> so, But you can see here, there are so many different window borders with this thing. I mean, the possibilities are just endless with this. So, um, lots of great choices there. Also, um, uh, this icon set that I've included with this, uh, you have lots of color choices for your folders, so um, you can really you can really customize this and make it your own. There are a lot of themes uh, loaded in this. Um, Manjaro Cup of Linux Edition includes all of the same software that the flagship Manjaro XFCE desktop has with the inclusion of uh, some additional tools. Uh, I already indicated that this has uh, Compiz reloaded with it. It also includes a bleach bit, which is great for keeping uh, your, your file systems clean. And there are a bunch of other applications uh, that I uh, threw in as well. Definitely check out the, the release notes. The link will be in the description below on that. Um, got a beautifully themed drop-down terminal available to you right here. If you don't like the way I set this up, not a problem. You can easily right-click into this, go into Properties. You can go into the colors, and you can select a, a, a different preset if that is more to your liking. Uh, I don't expect people to actually, you know, um, use the theme that I have set up with this. I expect you guys to play with it and have fun. Firefox has the uh, same goodness that it had 
the last time uh, we released it. Um, you get the Cup of Linux Troubleshooter. And uh, here, if you're having problems with the Manjaro Cup of Linux Edition, you have this customized search that you can use where if you uh, type in a problem, such as maybe you're having a problem with Broadcom, you can do a search. And basically, it searches all of these uh, websites that are Arch-based distributions that you can search and uh, possibly find an answer for a piece of Broadcom hardware that isn't working on your system. So I like the customized search feature. I hope this got, uh, works out for you guys very well. Okay, and then of course uh, links to other searches. Uh, you've got the Arch Wiki. I highly recommend that. So we've included links to that. And of course, if you want to download this distribution, just point your web browser to cupoflinux.com. It's all the download links are available right here on the front page. And uh, well, not just yet. Uh, I have to. I still have to upload them to SourceForge. Uh, there will be. Um, there will be download links up there shortly, and of course, uh, an MD5 hash that you can check against. All right, um, you also have quick access to uh, a text editor. Uh, this uh, wine glass is for play on Linux for running um, your Windows applications. Uh, you have uh, Guayesk, I think this is uh, pronounced, as your uh, music player. And then, of course, a lot of people mention that they have issues with Pulse Audio this, Pulse Audio that. So I put a quick lunch to Pulse Audio so that you can configure your uh, audio driver right here very quickly, very easily. I keep one on my, uh, on my desktop as well. Uh, VLC is also thrown in with this. Personally, I use MPV as my media player. I also included Mumble on this. Mumble is where we have uh, all of our... Um, voice chat and everything, and I've got this pre-configured for a cup of Linux Live. Um, what you need to do, though, the first time you use this is when you um, select, instead of pressing Connect, press Edit, and then um, under the username, you need to change this to your forum username, okay? Because in order to be registered to talk with us on Mumble, one of the uh, moderators needs to verify that your account is in good standing at cupoflinux.com before they will register you so that you can speak with us on Mumble. So make sure that you change the username so that it matches your forum name, and then you're welcome to connect to us on Mumble. Also, HexChat IRC is thrown in where you can uh, speak to people in uh, the uh, Manjaro chat room and get support if you ever uh, require support. But preferably, if you're having issues with this distribution, you'll want to post your support questions on cupoflinux.com so myself and my staff uh, can research any problems and and you know provide assistance for you there uh, pretty much um, I don't know what else to say other than this is a complete distribution you've got uh, Steam available uh, to you for playing all of your games uh, the GIMP LibreOffice Draw and Vunor is in graphics under internet you have uh, everything you need for uh, communicating online uh, you'll get uh, you get Pigeon I never even use this stuff really to be honest with you and then you have Thunderbird if you want to manage your email that way personally I use the web browser. All right, uh, multimedia, as stated, uh, you've got multimedia tools for playing just about any kind of media file that you can find. And then, of course, XF Burn is also included with this for burning your CDs, DVDs, and that sort of thing. LibreOffice uh, comes bundled in this. I use it myself. What can I say? All right, all the settings you need for uh, configuring this with the addition of... Um, uh, with the addition of uh, theme configuration. Uh, I added this little tool in here so that you can additionally uh, tweak the themes that come with this a little bit further if you want to. Um, something else I want to mention real quick before closing is that I know a number of you will want to test Manjaro Couple Linux Edition in VirtualBox before actually installing this on your computer. And with that being said, there is a known issue with um, some Linux distributions not being able to boot in VirtualBox using kernel 4.2 or higher. So I've got the Linux kernel 4.1 series uh, installed on this. 
But once you do install this on your hard drive, you can use the Manjaro Settings Manager to install one of the newer LTS kernels if you wish. I just wanted, I just didn't want to break compatibility with VirtualBox, which is why I use the uh, Linux kernel of 4.1 series. Well, that is all I have on this. A lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of love went into putting this release together for you guys. I know many of you have been waiting a long time for this, so. So um, download it, share it with your friends, and enjoy it. And I hope to have another release. I hope to have another release coming out at least once every six months, uh, maybe even sooner. I still have an opening available for uh, a maintainer for Manjaro Cup of Linux Edition, and uh, I have details in the release notes where you can. Uh, there's a link in the release notes. That'll take you to the announcement for the uh, maintainer position. I am looking for somebody who loves serving the community and somebody who loves building Manjaro. So uh, if you think this is something that you would be, wouldn't mind, uh, you know, sharing some of your time and working with me on this project for, you know, we get somebody that wants to do maybe more than two releases a year. That would be fantastic. I wouldn't mind doing something like that. But, um... I need support from the community to keep these releases uh, rolling out. And speaking of rolling, this distribution is rolling as well. So those of you who are using the uh, 0810 version of Cup of Linux Edition, if you've got this installed on your computer right now and you have constantly kept it up to date, you don't need to download this one uh, because you are up to date. Uh, already if you kept your system updated because that's that's one of the nice things about rolling releases all right well I suppose I better wrap this up here because uh, I know you guys are eagerly awaiting for these ISO images to be up on SourceForge so that you can download them and uh, try this out so um, let me go ahead and close this and uh, I'll see you around peace out mm -hmm.